I sorted out all the meteorites to make sure that they're not um, achondrites, and they're all ordinary chondrites. You can see the attraction. So you're not sure there's no Martians in there? Yeah. These are the ones that are all going to be sacrificed, eh? Yep. This one's really magnetic. Oh. Nice rollover lip here. I don't know if you can see that. Good. All right. Next step, I guess, first step will be to to wash them, and then after that, we can pulverize them. Okay. So right now, I'm just washing all the meteorites so that there's no mud or soil from Earth, so that it's just pure meteorite soil. While I was grinding up the meteorites, I noticed that this one had large amounts of nickel iron, and there's huge nickel iron blebs all throughout this one, which makes me think that it's a um, mesosiderite. And then this one I thought looked like an atomic bomb, kind of, a mushroom cloud, but the reason why I ground a window into this one is because it was extremely hard to crack. The There was other parts of it that flew off, but then the center just wouldn't crack. Maybe it's from North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> This one has a bleb of pyrolite, which is sort of like pyrite, it, and it's almost like fool's gold, but it's not as shiny. There's some pe there's flecks of nickel iron that are shiny, but it doesn't shine as much. Yeah, it's kind of brassy colored yellow. Yeah, it's got one on the other side too. Where your thumb is. Yeah, little one. So we have six and a half kilos of NWA meteorites that my grandpa sent up, and they're ordinary chondrites, so that they're not too expensive. Where are they from? NWA, Northwest Africa. And what kind of uh, meteorites are they? They're ordinary chondrites, so they're not that expensive. These were all sent up by my grandfather Nicholas Gessler for my science fair project and I need to pulverize all of them to make a soil.